Hi, I'm making a screencast uh, that will show you how to make histograms in Excel on your Mac. Okay, I'm using Super Bowl data, and as you can see, I have uh, data from Super Bowl 1 clear down to Super Bowl 47, and I have the winning team, losing team, winning score, and losing score. The histogram uh, that I'll be making will be a histogram that will capture the number of Super Bowls in which the winning team had scores going from 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, and 50 to 59 points. So my first column will be classes capturing winning score and you can see the lower and upper class limits. Uh, the second um, column will be frequency and we're counting the number of Super Bowls in which we had scores like this. Okay, so what I'm going to need is to capture the number of Super Bowls uh, going from like 10 to 19, 20 to 29, and so on. Now the data on winning scores is contained in cell location C2 clear down to C48. Uh, and I'm going to click in uh, the column that contains frequency number of Super Bowls and I'm going to write a count if formula. So you start with equals count if parenthesis and what it's looking for here is the range of my data that will be C2 to C48 with a colon in between comma and I'm going to write the criteria. Now the criteria that I can use to capture all the winning scores from 10 to 19 uh, will be uh, okay, I'm going to use quotation mark uh, less than and then 20 another quotation mark and then close it out with the uh, parentheses. So what this is going to do is it's going to count all the numbers from C2 down to C48 that are less than 20. And that should be everything that I need there. So I'm going to hit the return key, and it counts five Super Bowls for that uh, particular class. Now I'm ready for the 20 to 29. I'm going to do something similar. Uh, and there's multiple ways you could do this, but I'm going to try to keep it fairly simple right now. So equals count if parenthesis C2 to C48 comma uh, quotation marks now I'm going to count everything that is less than 30 so less than 30 quotation marks parentheses but that's going to also be counting um, everything from 10 to 19 too so I'm going to subtract cell location H2. So I'm going to subtract out the Super Bowl's uh, winning scores from 10 to 19. So hit return. There's 18 Super Bowls in that category or class. All right, let's continue with the class from 30 to 39 points. So we're going to do equals count if parentheses C2 to C48 comma Ex, uh, explain, um, quotation mark. Um, now we're going to do less than 40. Quotation mark. Close out the parenthesis. Subtract everything before that, which would be H2 and H3. Let's subtract those out. So it looks like 18 Super Bowls there. All right. All right, now for the class of 40 to 49, we'll do equals count if parenthesis C2 to C48, comma, parenthesis, let's go less than 50, and the quotation mark, and parentheses, subtract all the classes before, so H2, H3 and H4 get subtracted out. All right, now we're ready for the last one. So equals count if <clears throat> C2 
C48, quotation mark, less than 60 this time, and quotation marks and parentheses, subtract everything beforehand. And we should have it. I'm just going to do a real quick sum to see if I have 47 uh, Super Bowls here. Let's just check that out. And it says 47, so barring any mistakes that I might have made, it looks like we've captured all the um, Super Bowls here. Okay. I can actually get rid of that 47. We don't really need that. I'll leave it in there. It doesn't hurt anything. Okay, so these two columns right here form my uh, frequency distribution. Now, time for the histogram. To do the histogram, which is sort of like a bar chart, we're going to go into charts and I'll show you how to make the histogram. Okay, let's highlight everything from classes, winning score, down to the two here. So basically everything, including the titles of the column, uh, the two columns for the frequency distribution. And then we're going to click on charts, and we'll use a column one. And I'm going to use the clustered column. and when you click on that it really gives you pretty quickly a nice bar graph and I'm gonna just make it very very big so we can see here it may overlap some of the oops, some of the data but that's okay I can move it later on let's make it nice and big alright uh, we want to fix a few things up because histograms tend to touch. Alright, I'm going to click on one of the bars here and go up to Format. So you got Charts, Charts, Layout, Format. I'm going to click on Format. And what it does is it brings up um, Format Selection I'm going to click on that, and I'd like to make the lines black so we can see those bars better. So I'm going to click on line, and by color, I'm going to pick black. Boom. Got it. And hit OK. As you can see, we've got the black in there. All right, now I'm going to get rid of the gap in between them, so I'm going to click on the bars again on one of the bars and go up to the format selection and this time let me see I'm going to click on options and here's the gap width I don't want 150 percent so I'm just going to click there and put in zero and click OK and you can see that it removed all the gaps in between there. A um, couple other minor things I might do now is I'm going to click on chart title and I'm going to change that instead of frequency I'm going to make it say something like um, histogram and the number of Super Bowls and winning scores. Um, so we can understand what that is a little bit better. And I might even change the... Um, no, I'll leave that alone. That looks good. Alright, so what you can see here is you have your class uh, limits down here on the horizontal axis 10 to 19 
uh, winning score, 20 to 29 winning score, and so on. And then on the vertical axis, you have your number of Super Bowls. And we've created a histogram. So hopefully that helps.